What's up guys, it's your boy Daniel playing Indo RBGB on once again and today I'll actually be showing you guys my showcase and review on the Kasame Fusion and it's actually one of the best modes available in this game at the moment. Uh, the reason why I'm making this really late is because I actually got the Kasame Fusion a while back, like maybe a few days ago. Uh, it didn't spawn inside of the Akatsuki base for like a long time and it, it had spawned on like one of the new updates and I was like, sweet. So yeah, that's why I'm doing this late. But before we get into the video, I just want to notify you guys that I do a giveaway every two weeks of 450 Robux on both my Twitter and YouTube. All you got to do to enter the giveaway is to subscribe, hit that bell notification, like, and comment on all of my videos I've made this week. The winner will be picked randomly from one random video recently made. The Twitter giveaway info is also in the description, so you guys can get on that, and let's get back to the video. Okay, the Kasame Fusion is, it does require a bit of a high level, maybe like level 700. I don't know, I forgot it, but it does spawn every six hours outside of the Katsuki base and every two hours inside. I'll be posting a location video on that soon for those who don't know the exact location of Kasame. But basically, this is what it looks like when you uh, go into the mode. It looks pretty cool. I look like True Shark Boy. Shark Boy. Oh, I have a tail. I forgot about that. Look at that tail. Okay, anyways, this is... It basically, when you when you go into the mode, it, it, anybody that has a close range, that's close to you, like if I do it from out here, the bubble would disappear. But if I go close enough, like to right here, it'll pop up, and uh, it, it it decreases the enemy's chakra pretty fast, so they have to constantly charge up, and they can't really do that once you're like charging at them. So I mean that's pretty good. I, I mean that's that's a that's a pretty good mode. The the reason why I like this mode though is actually because it it shoots out like a shark projectile. And a shark projectile does actually a lot of damage, and you can spam it. Actually, I'll show you guys that right now. It looks like that. You keep on spamming it. It does do a lot of damage, and if the guy doesn't block, it will kill them. But of course, people block in this game. But even if they do block, and if you do it like consecutively, it should hit them at least once or twice. Or It'll deplete their stamina really quickly. You can also combine this mode with Trigram 64 Palms. It actually makes it pretty much pretty more OP than the paper mode that I showcased before. I'm going to show you what this combo looks like. Basically what you guys need is you guys just need to activate your Byakugan and then after you put your confident on hitting them with the 64 Palms you want to activate your Shark. And basically the only thing you need to do is activate the 64 Palms and you should be able to kill them. As you can see, he did. He still does have Byakugan on, so he does have an extra 40 HP. But basically, you just gotta activate 64 palms. You just gotta spam your shark mode, and he should either die or like, yeah. See, he he already did die. It does do a lot of damage, and he can combine it with the flying thunder god mode, like you did with the paper. So you guys can like do like a combo, like teleport to him, and then use trigram 64 palms, and then shark mode. But yeah, I mean, it's shark mode is actually really OP considering the fact that it decreases chakra so people can't really spam jutsus like they usually do but yeah i'm gonna show you guys the combo with the flying thunder god i'm gonna do it actually real quick here I'm just gonna activate these two you do also need the kunai minato's kunai to use the flying thunder god but basically i'm just gonna show you guys the combo right now it's really simple i mean you can't really block you can't really block six for palms, so I mean, it should do a lot of damage. It might not kill a guy with the Renegon, but it should deal enough damage to the point where they'll have like 20 HP left. So I mean, that's a bright side. But yeah, that's basically it for the Kasami Fusion. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter which mode you use, the paper or the Kasami Fusion. It should still deal a lot of damage. You can use the paper because the paper, the mode bar does not actually decrease as fast as the Kasami because if you use the paper, it stays the same. But if you use Byakugan, it goes down faster. But with just Kasame alone, it actually decreases at an alarming rate. I'll show you guys right now actually how fast the mode decreases. And it does actually take a while to get the Kasame Fusion. So, I mean, you don't really need the Kasame Fusion. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I'm actually going to come up with a combo video sooner or later. So, you guys can actually stay tuned for that. And the location video for both the Kasame and the paper mode outside of the Katsuki base. But yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I am doing a giveaway on my Twitter every two weeks as well. So if you guys want to get on that, just follow my Twitter. The link will be in the description at TezuNoMe. And subscribe if you guys like my content. Like the video if this helped you out in any way. And comment any question you guys have down below. But 
yeah thank you guys so much for watching the susano video will be out soon i just gotta wait until it spawns i've waited for around like 36 hours has not spawned yet so i mean there's that i might have to wait until the next update it could be glitched i don't know it does say every two hours and 30 minutes and it has a 50 50 percent chance of spawning but as you can see it does not for some odd reason they probably did that on purpose on accident it doesn't really matter but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace